Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dulakia, is going to solve KMAP examples of GATE, DRDO and ISRO examination. So here we will solve KMAP examples based on these three different examinations that is very popular in India. So let me give you first problem. Now you see in first question function f is given which is a function of a b c d and it is given in terms of mean term summation right and question is it is independent of which variable so here we will solve this by k map first and then we will see on which variable it is not depending so see it is four variable k map right so see this function f that is four variable k map so let me mention a b c d is input right and here i'm drawing four variable and this value of a b c d right that is happening as per 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and over here even it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 right now first we need to identify the location position right so location position that is starting from here 0 0 0 0 means 0 then 0 0 0 1 means 1 then 0 0 1 0 means 2 then 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 see this is our location positions are there now we need to place values of ones right so values of ones that is happening at 5 7 9 11 13 and 15 right so this is where we have values of ones now we need to simplify this k map right so we need to take largest possible group so let us take this as a first group right and if you see this group so in this you observe this a is changing b is 1 so let us say this is b and over here d is 1 so this group is b d now to cover this one biggest group is this so this group results into see this one is there so that is a and this one is there with d so that is d so if you observe this function f that is b d plus a d right so if you see this function so that is depending on b d and a it is not depending on c so we can say it is independent on variable c right now let us solve second question so I'll give you second question over here. So let me write. So here you can see in this question, the standard sum of product of function f that is a plus b bar c that is expressed, right? And that is what we can express that in terms of main term plus don't care as per this. So we need to identify which of this option is correct, right? So first what I'll be doing is I'll make a K map based on this function F. So you see this F is a function A plus B bar C. So that is what three variable function. So let me write K map, which is there with respect to three variable. So here I have A, B and here I have C, right? So you can see with A, B, there are total four combinations and c is 0 1 over here and a b is 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 right now with respect to location you see 0 0 0 means 0 0 0 1 means 1 then 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 see that is how locations will be there now first 
I need to identify what is A over here, right? So A, you can see A is this, right? So I need to place ones at A. So this is A, right? And if you see what is B bar C, so see B bar is this and C1 is this. So if I say B bar C, then B bar C that is this. So this is A and this is B bar C, right? Now, how that is expressed that I need to write. So if I say this is what function F, then in terms of main term, I can express that as per, you see, 1, then 4, 5, 6, 7. So here, you can see correct option for this question is B. Right, so this is what my correct option for this question. Now let me give you third question over here. So that will resolve your. So you can see here we have function f that is a function of w, x, y and z. Right, so four variable function is there and that is what summation of main terms 1, 3, 4, 6, 9, 11, 12, 14. And here we are dealing with to identify this function f is independent of one variable, independent on two variable, independent of three variable or it is depending of all variables. So that is what again we can solve it by having k map. So let me simplify this by having k map. So here I'm writing k map. You see, this is what function f. Here we have w x y z. That is how k map that I'm making. And here with this k map, there are two w x that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. y z that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Right. And if you see the locations, then locations are starting from 0, 0, 0, 0, so 0 over here, then 0, 0, 0, 1, so 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. See, this is how locations are there. Now, we just need to place values of ones so ones are there at 1 3 4 6 9 11 12 and 14 see these are the locations at which you have ones right so now i need to make grouping so you can see opposite grouping that is happening so with this opposite grouping is happening and if you identify in this opposite grouping, then see x bar there with this and over here it is z. So this group is x bar z. Now with this group, again opposite grouping is happening. So that covers all ones. So if you observe this group, then again over here you see there is 1 at x. So that is x. And over here it is, you see z is 0, so that is z bar. So if I write this function f, then that is x bar z plus z bar x, right? So that is x, x or z. So if you observe this function f, that is depending on x and z, it is depending on x and z, it is not depending on w and y. So we can say it is independent on two variables. So this option is correct, right? It is independent of two variables. It is not depending on w and y. Let me give you one more question. So that will again improve your understanding more. So here I'm going to write one more question. So question is, So see in this question function f that is a b c d 
function where it is expressed in terms of mean terms and that is what summation of mean terms of 1, 4, 5, 9, 11 and 12 and that is what we need to represent in terms of boolean expression. So again we can solve this by having k map. So let me make here k map of function f where this is a, b and c, d. So a, b is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 and c, d is again 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. Now I need to write locations. So it starts from here 0, then 0, 0, 0, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. See this is how locations are there. Now I need to place values of 1's. So 1's are there at 1, 4, 5, 9, 11 and 12. See these are the locations where 1's are there, right? Now we need to form a grouping. So you see, I will start it from here as this one cannot be grouped other than this. So this is what one group. So let me give name. See this is one group and that is what A, B bar and over here it is D. Now I need to have this group. So this group is C bar D and over here you see A bar is there. So A bar C bar D. And with this group, if you observe, so that is what C bar D bar and over here you see that is B, right? So that is how groups are there. So we can say this function F that is B C bar D bar plus A bar C bar D plus A B bar D, right? Now we need to see where it is there with this uh, A B C D answer. 